guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my vlogs, you'll have heard me talk about how nice the weather is right now. And that's kind of why I'm wearing this top because I'm trying to hide my sunburn. I saw so many people get out in the sun and get burnt and I was like, silly people going out in the sun without sunscreen on. I never do that. Then I did and I got burnt. So I can't see. But on the subject of sun actually, I thought I would make this video today showing you my favourite eyeshadow look that I call Sunset Eyes. This is the eyeshadow look that I go to if I'm stuck for ideas that day and I want something that really stands out and that is striking and dramatic like me because I'm a drama queen. So I thought I would do this eyeshadow look and I thought I would record it and show you how I do this so that you can recreate it yourself. So off camera I have already gone in and done my foundation, I've done my contour, I've done my blush, I've done my eyebrows. I've done this off camera because this video I just want to concentrate on my eyes. By the way, I don't know if you can see, I actually have a massive spot up here. I have two, one's more obvious than the other. I've tried hiding them with makeup. I don't know if I've succeeded. But yeah, if any of you actually have any tips or tricks on how to get rid of acne, please, please let me know because I am so over acne right now. Like, I, I've just had enough. Like, just bye, just go. So the first thing that I do is I prime my eyelids. The reason I prime my eyelids is that it gives an even colour for the eyeshadow to apply to. It helps the eyeshadow to last longer throughout the day and it just helps the colours pop that little bit more. The product I use as an eyeshadow primer is this NYX eyeshadow base. What I do is I open the product and then I take a brush to apply this to my eyelids. The reason I use a brush to apply this to my eyelids is so that I don't get any of the product under my fingernails because it is a nightmare to get it out of there and it also is just wasteful. So I'm going to apply this to my eyelid and I don't have to be very precise about this. It doesn't have to be the neatest job. It's just applying it to the eyelid. Once it's on there, I'm gonna blend it out properly. So now the eyeshadow base is on my eye, I'm just going to take my finger and blend it in a bit better so that it's smoother and it covers not only my lid but up here and the corner of my eye as well. So now the eyeshadow base is applied evenly to my eyelid. If I was to put eyeshadow straight onto that, it wouldn't turn out very good at all. The texture of the eyeshadow base is quite tacky. So the eyeshadow would stick to that, it would be patchy, it would be clumpy, it wouldn't blend very well and it just wouldn't have a very good finished look. So the way to get around that is to apply a powder to mattify it and make it more silky smooth. The product that I use for that is Stay Matte by Rimmel and it's in the shade Transparent. You can't see the name on the box anymore because it's so well used, but that is the product. So I take my finger, I put it all the way around the Stay Matte Powder and then I just swipe it over my eyelid. And then I keep reapplying as often as I need to until it no longer feels tacky but instead feels silky smooth. It's important to remember to include the inner eye and the outer eye. Don't forget to get them covered also. Once I've done this eye, I then move on to the next one. The palette that I'm going to be using is Juvia's Palace. And this palette was actually only 20 pounds. You don't have to use the same palette as long as you use shades that are similar, obviously. The colors that I'm going to be going in with are Oro, Manwu and Ofala. I'm not even sure if I pronounced them correctly but 
For this look, I'm going to be using three different fluffy brushes. Fluffy brushes are really useful for getting your eyeshadow to blend softly, to get rid of any harsh lines, and to just blend well. So the first brush I'm going to take is this one. It's not a brand brush. I can't even remember where I got it from. All my brushes actually are either from eBay or they're from Superdrug. I only have one brush that I got from Sephora and it's not in this collection here. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is Oro. I take my brush and I just go around the palette like so, tap off any excess. I then take this and I swipe it all over my lid. Now you can use what I call round and round the garden like a teddy bear motion or you can use window wiper motions, whatever one works for you. I don't know if you can see that I have eyelash glue on my eyelashes. I don't actually know how to get rid of that. Now because I have slightly hooded eyes, I like to take this above the crease. Don't worry if you have any colour still under here, I just go back in and fix that once the eyeshadow look is finished. So now that my eyelids are looking very very yellow, I go in with my next shade. The next shade that I go in with is Ofala. I take another brush, this time it's what they call the pencil brush, it's slightly more pointed at the tip. I pick up the colour that I am going to use, tap off the excess. And then I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye. Once I've done that for this eye, I'm away to move on to the next one. Now that I look a bit like a colourful flamingo, I am going to go in with my final shade, Manwood. I'm going to take my other fluffy brush for this one. I'm going to use this as a transition shade from the darker orangey red into the mustard yellow. I'm just going to very lightly apply this. About a quarter in. So now that I have a colour placed where I want it, I'm going to clean off this last brush that I used to get rid of any of the colour from it and then I'm going to use it to softly blend everything together. I'm just going to go slightly underneath that top line there. I don't want to go too far up because I don't want to take the colour up towards my eyebrow. I just want to soften that line. So I'm going to go just underneath and use window wiper motions to just soften that up. Okay. 
So once you've blended your eyeshadow, this is going to be the look that you are going to have. It is very bold, it is very striking, and it is very dramatic. I like to finish this look off by cleaning up any mess I've made under here, and then I'll apply mascara. So now that I've cleaned up my under eye, this is how it's looking. Don't be afraid to get messy. If you make a mess and you make a mistake, you can always fix it. Now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. The mascara I use is Volume Million Lashes Extra Black by L'Oreal Paris. And I'm just gonna coat the lashes with this. Man, I really need to find something to get that glue off my lashes because it's just messing everything up. My camera died so I had to put it on charge and then by the time it was charged I had to touch up my lipstick so if my lipstick looks different, that's why. So before the camera cut out, I just finished doing my mascara and I don't know if you noticed but I had a couple black dots on my face by the mascara here and here. Now when you get that on your face, it's really tempting straight away to try and remove it but all you're going to do because it's still wet is smudge it and put it across your face and just make things a lot worse. So resist that temptation no matter how hard and let it dry for a bit. Once it's dry, all you have to do is pick it off. So at this stage you can now apply eyeliner if that's your thing and you can also apply false eyelashes. I'm not going to do either because I'm still mastering eyeliner and I destroyed my false lashes last night taking them off by accident and I don't have any replacements so... Hashtag unprepared! So if you like my video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, hi my name's Kat, I make new videos every week. It would be awesome to have you join the family. Of course I can do this look a million times off camera but the one time I hit record it just doesn't want to go the way I want it to. Why can I not think kind of thing? Ah oh, man I just put it in the wrong colour. It's okay, fixed it. <laughs>